Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Anki. Thank you so much for watching this video and today what's the title and thumbnail says I am going to showcase the newest when I'm filming this <laughs> singles from Alito Cosmetics. They have some new iridescent ones. Well, this one is not new. I needed a, a new one because mine is literally gone. But they came out with new multichromes and they also came out with, what is it called? Holographic <laughs> multichromes. So I picked up the ones that I wanted. I also picked up one of their water activate, activate. I also picked up one of their water activated eyeliners because I wanted to try them. But I'm not the biggest fan of matte eyeliner. So, and since I don't have a black one in my collection, this is the first time I've ever worn black eyeliner. <laughs> like, except for back in the day when I tried the BH Cosmetics one, like liquid liner. But yeah, so, and I needed to fill up this space, so I thought, why not? try them out and so here we are <laughs> i freaking hate my hair today oh it just it's it it's not cute it's not cute but anyways i did film this a look i filmed a reels tiktok shorts because it is so 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 hard for me to film two talking videos in the same day currently so it was it's easier to just get ready in silence <laughs> and I wanted to have I almost said proof but it's not the word I'm looking for I wanted to have what is the word I'm looking for I wanted to have some content that is what <laughs> for of the look because whenever I have have whenever I have created a look and not either filmed it or taking pictures of it I have been so mad at myself for not doing so so here we are <laughs> this will be up after I've started posting about the BYOP that these shadows comes from they are created with mostly these shades but I of course needed some matte and stuff like that so I will leave a picture up of the BYOP because it's obviously disassembled currently so yeah this is the magic glue palette and I love it so much I already filmed a reel already so there will be at least two short form videos of this look not this look of this palette as well and I need to film my two looks my two looks video for YouTube and I need to film the swatch party for YouTube <sighs> and I have no idea when that will actually happen so yeah but I'm going to just quickly show you what I'm wearing outside of the shadows and I will mention the shadows when we get to them obviously for my blush today I went in with one of the shimmery ones from Alita Cosmetics in a pansy it is just so gorgeous of course it could be more shimmery in my eyes it's more of a satin matte blush but I love these blushes so freaking much and I I can't believe that I actually haven't hit pan on any of them yet, but... And for my waterline, I have two gel pencils. This one is the Colourpop Sulu pencil. I don't know if they do that anymore. And this one... I held it upside down. <laughs> this is the LA Girl Cosmetics Pastel Dream Liner in Lavender. I don't know if this exists either anymore. I have recently started to go through my pencil liners to see what actually works and what I can throw away because 
I have been using my lethal ones for the past three four years but they are so freaking dead it is so hard to get the right consistency with the Duraline that I'm I'm a little sick and tired of them I want new ones of course but it's going to be very expensive to replace all of them and they have discontinued a lot of them so yeah. And for my lips, I'm wearing the Pretty Sample Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Black Cat. This is their old, old, old packaging and formula. This was sent to me by one of my friends over on Instagram, Claudia, and I, I have missed wearing black lipstick so freaking much. I haven't been wearing it for the last probably two years because the first Black Cat that I bought went bad. So I had to throw it away and the second one that I bought, the formula, was insanely crappy. I have again bought a third black cat because I ordered that before. I knew she was going to send this to me so I am both excited and terrified to try technically the fourth one. But that will be a long, long, long while ago. While ago, it will be a long, long time before that happens. But yeah, that is what is on my lips. My bandana is from Pure One. My plugs are from Love Kills Boutique. My earrings are from Macabre Cute Crafts on Etsy. And I had to take off my contacts and put on my glasses because the contacts are killing me. So yeah, that was everything, I think. <laughs> so if you want to see me swatch out these absolute beauties, then obviously keep on watching. So I will be swatching on a clean bare arm in this video. I will have swatches up on Instagram with glitter primer, just FYI. I also have some comparison swatches to these iridescent ones because I thought when I first swatched them, they looked very similar to some of the old ones, but I was happily mistaken. <laughs> so I will have that up in the end after I've swatched out everything. So like close up so you can see the shifts and everything. So yeah. Since the first shade isn't even new, I am going to find the old one and I'm I'm still gonna swatch it out. So this is, ooh, stop it. This is my old Parallax. This is the first shade in the new palette that I bought a replacement for because as you can see, there is hardly anything left and it is, oh, so freaking gorgeous. I. It's one of my absolute favorite face highlighters and this is a gorgeous green turquoisey purpley blue oh it is just so there's some gold in it as well oh it's just so magical and, and there we have parallax I don't know how well you will be able to see the iridescent ones like on my hand hand no my arm but I will be lowering the lighting as well after I've swatched everything out obviously so yeah you can see how much I love the iridescent ones from lethal but if you're not new here you already know that because I have five billion looks using them I use them for highlighter that was not good. I use them for highlighter in every single freaking look I do. I can't help myself. Can I do this without poking anything? Next up is this one and this is called Europa. I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names. They are a little bit difficult <laughs> to know what they are because English is not my first language. So this is a gorgeous blue, 
turquoisey pinky purple. I'm wearing this as my face highlighter today and an inner corner as well. And oh my freaking god, it is just magical. Magical, magical, magical. Oh, I just can't. I just can't. Also, oh, Arthur is come alive. He is on his last legs, so whenever I put him on, I never know if he, the light will actually come on or not, and the light might disappear. I don't know, because he he's dying, poor fella. He's dying. <laughs> I'm going to puff them out <laughs> instead of holding the palette up, because I will dig my nails into a shade sooner rather than later. Later. Oh my god. Later. Next up is another one I can't pronounce. Gani Mi I will have to put the names on the screen because I can't for the life of me <laughs> read this. I have no idea how to pronounce that. And this one is a beautiful green, pink, what are you even? Green, pink, at least. <laughs> but it's, it's not like, ooh, what is it called? I know it so well, but now my mind is completely gone. It's not the same as Antimatter because that one is a very warm golden yellowy tone and this one is more cool toned and it's a little bit more pinky purple maybe but I am so freaking excited again to use this as a face highlighter and in a corner because I just love these kinds of highlighters so freaking much. Next up is one of the regular multichromes, and this one is called Me Mesosphere. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what that means or anything. I have used this one in a look already that is up already, and it was the I think it was the purple and red makeup look that I did and this is so freaking gorgeous. It's a bright lime green, golden, peachy pink color and it is just so, so, so gorgeous. Oh, the intense lime shift in this, I just can't. I just freaking can't. Oh. Next up is one of the first holographic multichromes, and this one is called Moonstone. And she is so beautiful as well. Oh. She is very, very flaky and textured y. And this one is a. Like, you feel it has a grey base with a green, pink, golden shift. It is... Ooh, that was a large swatch chunky. <laughs> it is just so, so, so gorgeous. I definitely don't have anything else like this in my collection currently. And, yeah, I... Can you even see anything? I hope so. So freaking gorgeous! Hopefully you will see it in the close-ups and the lower lighting as well. It is very hard to show off the holographicness, both in real life and on camera. I can't see anything like I'm sitting right now, so... I did put the flashlight on 
in the close-up so hopefully you can see it but yeah they are very 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 shy I haven't seen how it looks in natural lighting yet but yeah they they are very shy but the color itself is gorgeous and the shifts are gorgeous so I'm not I'm not too mad about it and I had a cut hair somewhere eh. all right the next shade is amethyst and I'm wearing this on I totally forgot to take off my glasses while I was showing you the look <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm wearing this on the upper part of my lid I'm going to take off my glasses I don't know how much you can actually see but it is so so gorgeous this one is very soft and creamy but it also very flaky and kind of hard to pick up with a brush you get pigment fine off the brush but you have to go in a couple of times to get an opaque look and it is a very 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 textured on the eyelids my eyelids are textured from before but yeah and I don't know how this will work with just setting spray because I always use glitter primer and I've heard that glitter primer pulls out the texture even more I don't know this one is a beautiful lavendery purpley gray green something <laughs> pinky purple color it is very very beautiful and this one I feel also has a sort of a gray base to it it's darker than the first shade I feel and there we have what were you calling it amethyst yeah you can definitely see that better next up is emerald and this is a beautiful icy mint blue purple beautifulness <laughs> it is so 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 gorgeous this one is also more creamy and flaky it's a little bit turquoise as well i think yeah it is so so gorgeous this one is a little bit more flaky i feel but yeah, here we have, what were you called again? Emerald. <laughs> and I love, it also has sort of a almost lime green, but not quite lime green, but it's very, very, very intense bright green. And I am so, so here for it. Oh. And the last eyeshadow in my custom palette is sapphire and i'm wearing sapphire on the lower part of my lid today sapphire is a gorgeous cool tone purpley bluey pinky beautifulness <laughs> so 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 gorgeous and i i love her this one is also more putty feeling and flaky who cares So pretty. So 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 pretty. I love it. Also, I kind of feel it has a little bit of green gold something. Are we in frame? Yes, we are. Thank you. So yeah, here are all the eyeshadows swatched out. I'm going to attempt to swatch the liner as well and here is the liner it is called y2k it's just a matte black liner what i noticed is that this formula i have only tried the glisten cosmetics one before this one is more of a thicker creamier formula and i'm not saying it is a bad thing whatsoever i am curious to try more liners from them i hope they will come up with metallics and duochromes and possible multi-chromes in this formula and if they do i will be there to pick up some stuff because 
those are my favorite types of liners. I know I wear super sparkly eyelids, but I still love having a metallic or duochrome or multi-chrome wing as well because I'm just so fucking extra <laughs> if you haven't gathered that but yeah I'm going to try to swatch this out <laughs> using my finger oh it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be I think it's a very 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 opaque as well so let's see here Ooh. yeah that is yeah very very opaque so here is the liner of y2k and so far i i really enjoy it i usually set my water activated liner activated what is that why, why do i keep saying activated activated my water activated liners with duraline for it to hold up as absolutely best possible but i did not do that in this look because I wanted to test out and see the longevity of wearing it without so I will have a little note on the screen on how it wore for me today at least I don't have particularly particularly watery eyes today but yeah just thought I would let you know but it is a first impression of the liner for me, but yeah, I, I'm very excited. All right, so that was the entire palette swatched out. I'm going to lower the lighting now so we can, oh my God, so we can see how it looks. I think, I think this is okay. I don't know. Let's see. Are we in frame? Yes, we are. So here is all the swatches in a lower lighting. I'm also going to... Can I do this? Oh, shut up. I'm also going to try with the flashlight to see... Oh, I can see the holographicness. <laughs> here in real life now but i have no idea what you are actually seeing and i don't know if i'm in frame but yeah i i don't know is this better ah this is going to be interesting so here is my arm again in normal lighting <laughs> well studio lighting and then i will insert the comparison swatches to the old iridescent or the older iridescent multichromes from a lethal that i already own and compare them to the new ones Okay friends, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a huge a thumbs up and maybe share with your friends because that helps me out so, so much. And please, please, before you go, leave me a little comment. It helps me out so much as well. What do we think of these shadows and liner? Are they not freaking gorgeous? I, I just can't. I love Lethal as a brand so, so much. And uh, yeah, oh, I... I can't wait to play more with these. I have no idea when, but they are in my collection now, so <laughs> they are available whenever I am able to, but yeah. Have you tried Little Cosmetics before? Have you been eyeing them? I absolutely recommend them. I have 
so so many of their eyeshadows I I don't even know how many I own but yeah and I used to have a lot of little content on my old channel but yeah but I have some on this channel as well if you are curious and I will leave the playlist up in the cards and yeah let's chat down below if you're not already subscribed to my channel I would ask if you love 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 to have you part of my online family I do colorful looks like and talk about colorful makeup because that's my style and if you love color just as much as I do or you want to get into color I think you would enjoy my channel if you're not already following me over on Instagram currently lately I'm out of content to post there so I'm not very active but it is a makeup by Anki just like here and it's always linked down in the description box and until next time I'll talk to you later bye